Hey everybody! I am getting ready to cook some crabs at the house. Um, all right, so listen, it's gonna be super simple, super easy. I bought three pounds of snow crab from Publix and they were on sale for $9.99 a pound. I literally paid right at $30 and some change. Um, but anyway, so this is what they look like. I'm going to do these in the microwave. So these here, I uh, sprinkled them with this, some Cajun seasoning, just some little cheap stuff I got out the dollar store. And cause I didn't have any um, Old Bay and that's what I normally use. That's what I normally good put on them. Publix's steamer is broken right now. So I'm um, doing it myself at home. And it's super simple. You really should know what you're doing before you stick these in the microwave. Do not overcook them. I would do three minutes, and I have three pounds, so I'm gonna do three minutes. I'm gonna check them, move them around, because the ones on top are gonna get more, but maybe the ones on top or the bottom, I can't remember, uh, get more cooked, or you know, they cook and then you need to move them. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna move them around, and then you will, um, <clears throat> so the other ones can cook, or whatever do three minutes at a time well no not three minutes at a time don't sit oh jesus that's so wrong three minutes check them flip them around do another minute flip them check them if they all look like they are done then you can take them out but i'm gonna do three minutes and then uh one minute increments until i feel like they're all done um last time i did two pounds and it only took me four minutes to cook them all well heat them all because they're already cooked. They're just, they just need to be uh, steamed to, you know, pump them up. Anyway, um, yeah, and that's it. So I'm going to do that. Um, already sprinkled some on here. And I'll get up a little bit closer so you guys can see the seasoning. But it wasn't, you know, I didn't put a lot because, you know, I have to keep myself together. But I say just, you know, I'm going to do a, hit a, a little bit more. But I'm just sprinkling that right in there. And I would really want to pay attention to those clusters, which are these things here. These things, these are the clusters. So I'm paying attention to those because I want the seasoning to get in those because I'm steaming these. I'm not boiling them. Um, and I want, you know, them to be good and seasoned up. So I just added a little more in there because I coated them pretty good or whatever. So now I'm just going to stick them up here in the microwave and I put probably like a half a cup of water in the bottom of this bowl. And that's all you need. You don't need a whole lot. You know, you don't have to put them in the oven. You don't have to boil them. Boiling them just ruins the taste to me. They, could, they can overcook real easily if you boil them. But putting them in the microwave or steaming them um, is much safer. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Ooh. Child. Somebody being rebellious. Don't want to get in it. But you going, baby. Well, you, you going. All right. So I'll be back when they are ready. Okay, so you know me, I have to <laughs> stay informed because you know I always say I'm coming back when something's done or ready or whatever, then I always jump back in the scene. Surprise! So anyway, um, I bought these. These are the little mini cucumbers I've been buying. These are the ones that they have in Publix, mini cukes. And it's six in the bag. You can see here, six in the bag. And they are just like this. They're small, good size, seedless, which is great. And these are less hard for your stomach than regular cucumbers. And that's just my personal thing, my feeling. But for me, the, the big ones, their skin is tougher. And that's harder to digest because that's fiber. So it's harder for me to digest that. With these, the skin is, is a lot more tender. Sorry. The skin is a lot more tender and they're easier to digest for me. So all I do is just wash those off. That's it. And I can slice them down the middle or just bite them. I take them for lunch. I eat these as a snack too, you know. I eat like, I'll do um, like the mini cucumbers. I'll do grape tomatoes. I'll do um, caramelata of olives. Caramelata of olives. I can't talk today, you know, like. Ooh, I was on a road on the interstate, let's see, for an hour trying to get home from work today. 
simply because well, not gonna say simply because that's wrong, and that if that was me or somebody in my family or friends, I would not be want nobody to say that. There was a car accident somewhere on the Howard Franklin Bridge, which is like uh, the, the um, Tampa Bay Bridge, kind of like. Anyway, um, and traffic was just backed up. I mean, backed up. It took me one hour, and it normally only takes me ten minutes to get home from work. Yeah, <laughs> that was an extra 50 minutes trying to get off, just to get off an exit. Bumper to bumper, everybody agitated. It was just chaos. But anyway, so finally made it home, whatever. So I'm just kind of flustered right now. You know how it is, but, and then it was raining on top of that. So yeah, not a fun day. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get the cucumbers wrench to slice and shake my crabs and stuff and i'll be back okay guys so this has been three minutes well one second to spare on the microwave you see one second so this is what they look at look like at three minutes okay the shells will start kind of turning kind of dusty looking and that lets you know that they are done they are hot like this one here is hot um, but I'm going to move these to the bottom and put the ones on the t bottom on top because they are cold still. So, let's rip that round. So that's all we're doing is just doing this. Just rotating because, like I said, the ones on top cooked because they're right there on the top. And I just pull that one right up to the top like foo. Like a little foo, honey. All right. Okay. I ain't have but like eight clusters, and then I got like some random legs in there because Publix needed a truck, honey. You know, it was just whatever. So yeah. So now you can see how it looks like when I rotated them or whatever. So now I'm gonna put them back in there for another minute, and then I'll check them like I said at one minute increments, and then you know that'll let me know, you know, if I need to keep cooking or not. So, I'll be back. All right, guys. So, in the interim, while the crab legs are still going, I'm doing my butter. So, I had a little piece left. That's probably two, two tablespoons, maybe two and a half tablespoons, whatever. So, these just cut off. Hold on. Let me see, child. These should be ready to rock and roll now. Yes. So, these look done. The shells look like... Um, you can see they're kind of, the shells look like you can almost see through them. So that means that they are done. For my liking, they're done. You can see the meat through the legs. You see, you kind of look kind of orange. That's the meat there. But yeah, so they're ready. That means they're all good and puffed up, fluffed up, ready to rock and roll, baby. But this one here giving me some troubles. So I might do 30 more seconds. Yeah, that's still cold. That ain't ready. So I'm gonna shuffle them around. Put that on the top, child. You wanna show your tail, honey. Hana. Hana, Hana, Hana. Alright. So this one here wanna show its tail. So I'm going to put it back. I hope y'all can see, child. You know I'm over here. Scruggling. Scruggling, scruggling. Alright. So I'll be back when these come out and I'll let you see them. Child, you know I got the spirit of lies all in my throat. I was doing the butter, child. Let me come back so we can do the butter, honey. And finish that up. So, like I said, I had about two tablespoons to two and a half tablespoons left over. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Or whatever. Let me take these legs and leave because I don't want them to overcook. Oh, they look like they're doing all right. Anywho, so I'm doing okay. So the butter won't act up. Now listen, y'all know I'm already irritated and agitated from driving forever trying to get to the house today. I'm over it. This butter don't do right. Listen. I'll take it out, I swear, I promise. Lay this butter right in here. Chop it up. 
Anyway, y'all, let me check these legs again. It's very important that you keep checking. Yeah, all right. These look done, because the shells have turned now. And they're hot, pretty hot. Yeah, these are ready. Yeah, all right. So these are ready, I'm gonna sit these back here. The rest of the season on my hand. Hold a towel. Can't find nothing. I can't stand that. Somebody leave the time going on the microwave. Ooh. Like, you can't just hit stop or clear or something. Just leave it like that. Ooh, that's irritating. But you know, that's when you've been single for so long or whatever. I don't know. But you know how it is when you like something, how you like a child. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna hit it with a little more of this. It said Cajun seasoning. Not a lot, cause I got it on the legs. I don't need it a whole lot. A whole lot of it, excuse me. Uh. All right, so I'm gonna hit it with some red uh, pepper flakes, some cayenne pepper and then some ground paprika. Paprika. I'm telling you, my mouth is ruined. I don't care about how much paprika, you know what I'm saying. You know what's in my hand, jeez. Get off my back. Anyway, so I don't need a whole lot of either of these, but you know, I want to be a little spicy. And I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna put it in my hand just in case I pour too much. You know how that goes, child. Be the messed up mess your salsa. Be out there sick, honey. Alright, so that's good. I'm measuring this for me. I ain't measuring for nobody else. So you know, however you like it is how you like it. I'ma use this same little piece of paper. I know ghetto. Ghetto. The ghetto. The ghetto. But anyway, so I'm going to put this same little piece of butter paper over this to keep it from splattering up in the um, microwave. I'm going to put that on a minute and then, excuse me, 30 seconds. All right, so while that's doing, I'm going to clean up and I'll be right. All right, y'all. So the butter has melted. And this is why I use the paper because it come right off. I mean, I could look, use a lid. I do sometimes, but the paper was right here, you know, whatever. But yeah, so you use the paper, and boom, you ain't really waste no butter, you know. So, anyway, try to get myself together. Hold on, we're just messing up. Ah! I ain't got a fork in the house. I'm lying, y'all have forks, but they're in the dishwasher. So I'm going to my backup, my little forks. But anyway, so I'm just gonna stir it up. This is hot. Let me use these. But that's the butter here. I'm just stirring it up. And I put the seasonings in there before because I have found that when you do it afterwards, they don't dissolve good or you know mix in the butter well. Anybody trying to be eating all that? So anyway. All right, so I got the butter ready. I got the cucumbers ready. I sliced those in half, you know, just straight down the middle. And the crab legs, the main attraction. The main attraction. All right, so I'm gonna pour the water off of these or whatever, because don't nobody want all that water dripping all over the place, okay? Drip, drip. We don't, want, we don't want no drip. So I'm gonna pour that out right here. Never mind my sink. I got dishes in it. That's what a sink does. I got stuff in the dishwasher, so I haven't put these in the dishwasher. Anyway, so I'm just pouring this water right off, right in the sink, child. In the garbage disposal side. Not down the drain, the regular drain. Anyway, so 
Yeah, baby, but it's ready. I might stick them back in there for about 30 seconds just to warm up because they got cool kind of sitting out here. So, but other than that, y'all, that's it. That's all it is to it. Microwave crab legs, child. Microwave crab legs. That is it. Microwave crab legs. Like I said, I'm gonna stick them back in here for about 30 seconds. And that's gonna be it. They done. They ready, Fred. So in they go. Boom. They're in there. 30 seconds. 30, 30, 30. Boom. 30, 30, 30. Wrong finger, sorry. 30 seconds. And then they'll be done. So yeah. You know, it's not difficult, I promise. It's just crab legs. It's not a, you know, people think crab legs, oh my God, you gotta be like a skill chef. You don't, <laughs> you know, and y'all already know me too. You know, I'm like extra, you know, whatever. Cause I like to chew on my, not chew on with my teeth, but like crack them with my teeth and stuff. So everybody already think I'm crazy, but it is what it is. So here they are. Out of the microwave, they're ready to go. All right, y'all. So that's it. I will see you guys on the next round. Well, the next episode ain't around. What I'm trying to say, but anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Remember, you are loved. I love you. Whatever you're doing, be good or be good at it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.